Welcome to the Davis Newscast for Tuesday, October 6th, 2020. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Ministry of Agriculture hosted a seminar to formally discuss the third quarter reports of the various divisions in the Department of Agriculture. Presentations were made by a number of divisions, including quarantine, engineering, small farm equipment pool, veterinary services, livestock, abattoir, agro-processing, extension services, marketing and forestry services. The presentations included reports on the work done this year and their intentions going forward. Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, was present at the seminar and commended the department for the work they've been doing thus far in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic. I just want to commend all of the presenters who would have presented uh, today. As a matter of fact, um, I sat there and I myself, I can safely say I was not certain as to what was going on in every aspect, but at least the information garnered here today have given me a clear vision and a clear view as to what is taking place in agriculture in Nevis. It is not for me as the policy, uh, part of the policy making body to know exactly what is happening. I believe once policies are shaped and formed, then the persons who are charged with that responsibility to uh, execute, then there is where the test is and there is where the uh, testimony of the effort of the department is. And I want to say that everyone would have presented here this morning some glowing reports. Everyone would have indicated that they, uh, their challenges ahead of of course, yes. But I said before when I was here earlier that uh, now that we have some downtime, so to speak, it gives us a chance to regroup, reassess, and reinvigorate our efforts and so forth to ensure that once we come out on the other side of all this and the demand is there for local products, the demand is there for what we're producing here on the island of Nevis, that we're able in some uh, measure to meet those demands. A number of persons in the agriculture sector were present, including permanent secretaries, both on St. Kitts and Nevis, Ron Dublin Collins and Huey Sargent, directors on both islands, Randy Elliott and Melvin James, employees of the Department of Agriculture in St. Kitts and Nevis, and other invited guests. The seminar was broadcast live on Nevis Television's Facebook page. David Curry and Company Limited has donated a package of medical equipment to the Alexandra Hospital. The presentation was made by Director and Manager Peter Curry on Monday, October 5th. He expressed the hope that the gift would supplement the existing equipment at the hospital in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Nevis and its people have always been there to us. We go back to our parents and founders, David and Josephine Curry, <clears throat> who traded there for, from the early 1900s and which we have continued. We wish you continued success in coping with the present crisis caused by COVID-19, which your medical team and all related officers has so successfully protected our, fer our federation. May God bless you all. Accepting the donation on behalf of the Davis Island Administration's Ministry of Health was Medical Officer of Health and Chair of the Davis COVID-19 Task Force, Dr. Judy Nisbet and Dr. Duana Pemberton Jeffers of the Alexandra Hospital. I am pleased to accept the oxygen concentrators and also the infrared um, non-contact infrared thermometers. We are always grateful when businesses and private citizens partner with us in this fight against COVID. As I, I always say, the, the health sector cannot do it alone. We need everyone. We need every single citizen on board doing their part, no matter what little it is, how great it is, to assist us in this fight. I therefore thank David Curry and Company Limited for this very generous contribution. And please, Mr. Peter Curry, please take back our sincere thanks to the other members of your company 
and I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the people of Nevis to wish your company every success. Thank you. Meantime, David Curry and Company Limited also made a monetary donation to the Department of Social Services. We are very happy to contribute the sum of $2,000 for the meals for the needy and elderly persons in Nevis. We have had a long and pleasant relationship, both in business and friendship with the people of Nevis. We wish to extend this, this, this gesture at this very difficult time of COVID-19. Thanks to all those who are attending the needy ones at this time. God's blessings to you all. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Social Development, Keith Glasgow, accepted the donation. On behalf of the, the Ministry of Social Development, uh, we wish to extend thanks to David Cooey and company, who is represented here today by Mr. Peter Cooey, for this very generous donation. And we plan to use this donation exactly as you would have intended or requested. And so, again, we want to say that we are grateful to the company of David Curry for this very important donation that would go to the needy and the seniors. Thank you very much, Mr. Peter Curry, for representing your company. And we are always grateful when the corporate sector steps up to the plate and take you know, their social responsibility as seriously as the David Curry company is doing today. The presentations were made at the Nevis COVID-19 EOC briefing on Monday, October 5th. Still to come, NTA launches Nevis Tourism Ambassador Partnership. The details after this break. Known as Uwali, land of beautiful waters by its native inhabitants and later nicknamed Queen of the Caribbees by British settlers, Nevis has long relied on its natural prowess and resources to create livelihoods for its people. The people of Nevis have long remained connected to the gifts nature has bestowed. As an ambassador of this majestic island, it is my duty to encourage my people to nurture, preserve, and protect what makes us unique as a people and strong as a country. Welcome back. The Nevis Tourism Authority, NTA, has launched the Nevis Tourism Ambassador Program, a unique partnership with an exclusive group of travel advisors, influencers, and journalists. The six tourism ambassadors are travel advisors Margie Jordan and Wesley Francis, influencers Bianca Jade and Stephanie Michael, as well as journalists Arian Mangi and Melissa Corbin. The Tourism ambassadors were selected based on their commitment and support in promoting Nevis to their respective audiences. Together, they will highlight different aspects of the Nevis tourism product, culture, health and wellness, romance, sports, and culinary adventures. In a press release issued on October 5th, CEO of the NTA, J.D. Yard, said she is thrilled that these exceptional individuals who love Nevis have agreed to partner with us and share from their own perspective what makes our island such a special place. She said she appreciates their generous support, which is a powerful endorsement for our destination, and and she looks forward to working closely with each of them for the mutual benefit as their Nevis stories are brought to audiences across the globe. The following is an advisory from the Nevis Electricity Company Limited, Nevlec. As part of Nevlec's ongoing commitment to providing reliable and a sustainable service to its customers, maintenance work will begin on one of the major units at Prospect Power Station during the period October 11th to December 2nd, 2020. Nevlec management is asking for the public's cooperation as this may result in the interruption to the island's electricity 
electricity supply. In the event of such an occurrence, NEVLEC may be required to shed load, and a load shedding schedule will be circulated to inform all customers of the areas that will be affected. Customers are also reminded that areas not on the load shedding schedule may be affected during generator maintenance. They will be notified if and when these interruptions become necessary. Nevlex management team apologizes for any inconvenience caused to its customers and thanks them for their patience and support during this period. The advisory states that Nevlek is committed to re-establishing the reliability of electricity supply that its customers deserve. And that's it for this edition of the Davis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.